Welcome back to this video lecture series on object oriented programming in Java. So today our lesson is operators in Java. So what basically operators is that we have already seen that what variables are in Java. So operators are those mediums via which we can operate some certain operations on those variables. Now in Java we have plenty numbers of operators in Java. So starting up with first is the unary operator. So for example of this unary operators, we have pre-increment operators, post-increment operators. In this example, if this is written as plus plus v, it means v is a variable and we are operating this pre-increment operator onto this variable. So plus plus v minus minus v, these are all the pre-increment operators. Same way, v plus plus v is a variable or v minus minus, these are the examples of applying post-increment operators on variables. Next up, the arithmetic operators, the very basic operators, we need to execute simple arithmetic operations like plus, minus, multiplication and division. We also have different kind of relational operators, which helps us to make relations between two variables like this less than, greater than, less than is equals to, greater than is equals to or is equals to is equals to, not is equals to. So depending on the operator we use in between two variables, we can chalk out a relation between those two variables. We also have a bitwise operator. You can see this is the right shift and this is a left shift bitwise operator. What it does is these bitwise operators are used to shift a number to the left or to the right by a certain value or the number specified. Next is the logical operators. So we have a logical AND and we have a logical OR. This is called the logical AND operator and this one is the logical OR operator. We also have this bitwise AND and bitwise OR. When we will be looking at the examples through code, we can understand the meanings of these. The penultimate one we are going to see is the ternary operators. So ternary operators can be expressed in terms of a question mark and a colon. In between what we have is a condition before the question mark which first will be evaluated and then one of the two variables will be printed out as the result. So we will be again seeing the example of this in the coming coding part. And lastly we have assignment operators like plus is equals to minus is equals to like that. So let's jump onto the coding part and have a better understanding on how to use these operators with variables. So again first things first public static void main inside this string args now here so first we'll be looking at the unary operators for that let me take a variable a which has an initial value of 10 so if we do that post increment on variable is and if we do a a plus plus here the value printed will be 10 this is what happens with post increment as we all know is that whenever we apply it the value doesn't get updated at that instance only it will be done later now if we do a pre increment here pre increment of plus on variable is rather again say here of plus then this will be plus plus 8 here the value as output will get is 12 because after it comes here the value is already updated to 11 and as is pre-increment, so it will be incremented first and then the output will be shown. So 11 plus 1, 12. So the same thing we can be, uh, we can show with the pre-increment and post-increment of minus. So let me just copy down this. So this will be minus. This will also be minus. And what we can do is a minus 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 a so the values that uh, we uh, should assume that this will be printed out is 12 and this is 10 
So these are the unary operators. Next comes the basic arithmetic operators. That is, uh, we will just you know do some basic mathematics right here. So I'll first print out that arithmetic operators. So here I'm going to take a very simple example. So 10 plus arithmetic 5 into 2 5 minus 2. Now if we make it a bit better looking one, this then this then this and lastly so the result that we should ex expect is that then again so very basic arithmetic operators next comes is the relational operators so let me take a few more variables let's say 5 and another let's say 20 so uh, I can check for some conditions that if B is greater than A, then print out B is greater than A. We'll again check if C is greater than A, then it's out. C is greater than a and lastly we just can you know c is not equals to b then print out c and b are not equal the next thing we're going to look at is the bitwise operators so what it does is that if there's a number and we want to you know bitwise shift it left then we will be having a certain defined value by which the number will be shifted left or right so this is let me yeah so this is the bitwise right shift and this is the Device left shift. So suppose we have a number 10. So we know that 10 in binary is uh, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now if we operate this bitwise left operator on this number, it will be shifted towards left. If we do this, it will be shifted. Okay, this will be left wise. So left wise two bits if it is shifted, then it will be like 1010000 one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. so which is equivalent to we can say this is 8 this is 16 this is 32 so 32 and 8 this is going to be 40 same way if we do a right shift to this on this 10 then we will have only one zero that is equivalent to 2 so uh, let us just try it out we have already defined variable a with the value of 10 so what we will do here we will print out an s out and a right shift 2 so the value will be like 10 multiplied 2 to the power 2 same way if you do a left wise operator this will be like okay this will not be multiplication this will be divided in the left shift this will be 10 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 so this is the bitwise operator next comes the logical operators so logical operators we have logical and logical or and simple bitwise and and bitwise or the difference between first we'll see logical and and logical or so we'll first print out a is less than b and b is less than c let me just type down the lines of quotes a is less than b and b is less than c 
Now, the thing is that here the result will be as we can see that a has a value of 10 and b has a value of 5. So, this will be false. This will also be false. But in the case of logical and, if the first condition evaluates to be false, then it will not check for this condition b less than c. It will directly print out a value of false. But in case of bitwise and, it first will evaluate the first condition and then again check for the second condition, then will reach out for a conclusion. Here it will also be false. Same goes for the logical or and logical and bitwise or. So if we say a is greater than b or a is greater than c and if we say the same thing a is greater than b or a is greater than c we can see that for logical or it will first check for first condition if it is true then it will not check the second condition but for bitwise or it will check the both the condition then reach out for a conclusion so for the first case as a is already greater than b it will print a value of true now here this condition is true but 10 is not greater than 20 so true and false so this will print out as false next is the ternary operators so ternary okay wait up yes ternary operators so here as we're going to as we were saying actually we need a first condition then a question mark then either of the variables and in between them there will be a colon so we can directly say like this that if the condition is a is greater than b then then print a otherwise print b so this is the ternary operator so now we know that a is 10 and b is 5 so a is greater than 10 so a should be printed so we should expect a uh, an output of 10 and lastly we have assignment operators so lastly we have assignment operators so a very simple thing suppose we have a variable a with a value of 10 and we want to increment it by 5 so what we can simply do is that we can say a plus is equals to 5 so this will give us an output of 50 same way we can operate b multiplication is equals to 2 as b has value of 5 this will give us 10 and also we can do the same with this the value will be 10 because uh, c has a value of 20 so let's now run this whole of the program so we have the output here now let us match with uh, whatever we assume that this will be prediction see post increment of plus on variable is 10 10 10 12 see a plus plus post increment so the value is not updated at that instance only but when do we do a pre increment this variable gets a updated value that is 11 so 11 plus 1 12 same goes for the post and pre increment of the uh, minus of minus on the variable so well and good next comes the arithmetic operators we have the expected output here only Next up for the relational operators, we can see that it's, it has come well because see B had a value of B, 5 and A is 10. So B is not a greater than A. So this was not supposed to be printed and yes, that is what has happened here. But this condition was true. So it's been printed and again, this condition was also true. So we have this here also. Next comes the bitwise operator. So for this bitwise operator, the first input was 10 divided by 2 to the power 2. So as uh, this will be an integer because A is itself an integer. So 10 divided by 4 will be 2. So we have 2 and 10 into 4 will be 40. So again, the expected output we have assumed and uh, we had. Next comes the logical operators. The first and the second condition would be false and false. We have that. Next for the logical or and bitwise or. Okay, so both has come as true. So yes, this was assumed wrong because actually it would be true only. For all operations, so this is true and this is false. But we know that 1 or 0 is 1, so this will be true. So the output has come properly. Uh, next is the ternary operators. As we can see, we predicted 10, we had you know 10 as output because 10 is greater than 5, so 10 will be the result, otherwise, it would be you know 5. And lastly, for all the assignment operators, we had predicted these values 15, 10, and 10 and we have got these values as the output.
So this was all about the types of operators we have in Java. Thank you for watching this video and staying with us. See you next time.